Hey guys, welcome to A&I's Adventures. Today we're going to be learning about how to use a, why we have to use an aerator. It, see the bubbles right here? That, that's making water, I mean oxygen for them to breathe in the water. Mm-hmm, so it's giving the tadpoles some oxygen. So, yeah. so guys, one of our tadpoles right here, I want to show you. See his tiny legs down there? Oh, look at him. See right there? Oh, yeah. And that one's the one that has no hands. The other one is somewhere. Arms. I mean arms. And So what are these What are these tadpoles going to turn into soon? They're going to turn into first. The cycle was eggs, like we updated on, and then now legs. I mean, opened up, and then legs, and the next will, stage will be arms, mm -hmm. and, and next, then? and then they'll, and then they'll lose their tail, and then they'll be frogs, and then I made them some land, and until they get big enough for them to climb out, and once they get frogs, I'll make some more land for them. Yeah, so you made this little habitat for them, right? Yeah. So what else did you put in here for them? I put a cave, first of all. We need a place for them to sleep because it's not like they just want to run around everywhere. They probably get scared sometimes, so that's why I made this. Um, we don't bring the around on all day. The reason I had it off is because I had it on all this morning and we don't want to, it to hurt them because if the, it's their little small dudes, we, if, if they get close to it, they could get really hurt and injured. Yeah. So, um, all right, guys, we have two tadpoles in here, and they eat the, this algae on these rocks. All right, well, that is our the end of our update about tadpoles. Our next update will be arms and... Tadpoles might have some arms then. And, and then tadpoles might have some arms then. And and that's it for today's video. I hope you I hope you watch more because there's more coming. Bye!